In this video, I create a displacement map that wraps around uh, Pandora's face. So first I want to create a word cloud. I use wordclouds.com and I'm going to copy a poem about a Pandora from uh, Longfellow. So I'm just going to Google the poem, look it up, copy and paste the text into wordcloud.com and then create my word cloud. It's very straightforward and easy to do. Um, once I've created the word cloud, I'm going to uh, get rid of all the color so it's just black. And then I'm going to change the font and the shape of the word cloud. And there's other adjustments you can do. It's very straightforward and user friendly. Um, I'm going to save it as the highest resolution uh, PNG that I can. PNG is for Portable Network Graphic. Um, word clouds work by um, making the highest frequency words the largest and the lowest frequency words, words the smallest. So they can give you a lot of information about um, what words are the most important in a poem or piece of writing. And they're very good for graphic design. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to actually take the text and wrap it around Pandora's face, almost as if it's a tattoo or something. And uh, the way I'm going to do that is with a displacement map. So once I've figured out exactly what design I want for my word clip, now I need an image of Pandora. When you do a Google image search, uh, click on tools and make sure that you are um, clicking on size and only getting large high resolution images and also there's a um, section for usage rights make sure that you're getting a an image that is copyright free um, that you can reproduce without violating somebody's copyright so once I find a an image of Pandora that's in the public domain that's a full color high resolution image I'm going to download it and I'll reopen that in Photoshop as well. Creating distortion maps is not very hard, but there are several steps involved. The first thing I'm going to do is select just her face and, and part of her hair, because that's where I want the words to wrap around. And I'm going to copy them. I'm going to put them, paste them into a new layer and then I'm going to hide the original uh, image. You don't want to touch or do anything to harm the original image. I'm going to hit image um, adjustments and curves and I'm going to maximize the contrast. Um, I can mess around with the exposure. Make sure that you have a full range of uh, chiaroscuro from light to dark. And then you're also going to hit image adjustments black and white in order to get rid of all the color. Remember, your original picture is still hidden underneath there. Now you have to save your file as a Photoshop file. So I just called it something like Pandora's face, black and white, something you're gonna easily remember and be able to find later. Once you've saved it, um, then you're gonna import the, the text on top of it. I opened up my word cloud in Photoshop and I hit select and color range and shadows and I just copied and pasted the black letters right on top of Pandora's face and then I'm going to hit edit transform scale and I'm going to make them smaller. Once I have it the right size I'm going to right click over the layer and convert the words into a smart object before I click on a uh, filter. I can always rasterize them or convert them back to pixels later, but for now I'm clicking on filter, click on distort and then displace. It's going to ask you for a source file. So you open up you, and click on the black and white uh, image that you saved and it will warp around the face. So you saved it as Pandora face black and white. Um, you just click on that and 
There are some adjustments you can make within the distortion displacement map. If you don't like the way the image wrapped around, you can make a few adjustments. I had to hit edit undo several times and change um, the amount of distortion and the degree horizontal and vertical that it distorted until I got something that I was happy with. Some of them distorted so much I couldn't see read the letters anymore and I didn't want that. So once I have um, a distortion that I'm happy with, I can unhide the underlying layers and see how it looks and I can hide the um, the black and white face and you'll see that it's it's wrapped around them if you look at the um, if you click on the layer you can rasterize it and that will enable you to erase some of the uh, extra additional type that's not wrapped around that and if you look just over the uh, layers menu you'll see a little uh, box that says normal with a little drop down arrow if you click on that you can change the uh, the filter setting and uh, it'll you know there's overlay there's soft light there's all sorts of different choices that will look different over your person's face and um, blend it better with the face so it actually looks like it's on her skin. Another thing that I did was I did filter, stylize, and trace contour. And I did this in the layer that had the face on it and it gave me a sort of a black line drawing of Pandora. So what I did was I clicked a select color range shadows and that gave me selected all the black lines and then I did select modify expand and I expanded it by one pixel and then I hit edit fill and filled with black so I got this little bit thicker black line which I selected and edit cut and I pasted it right on top of my word cloud and that helped to um, redefine uh, some of the contours of the face on top of the word cloud so that was a nice look and I, I merged it down with the word cloud and then I played around with that and if you look right above the layer menu where it says normal and there's a little drop down arrow um, I played around with different choices like overlay, soft light, um, you know all sorts of there's a lot of different choices and there's no one size fits all for uh, how it's going to look on top of the uh, on top of the image but what you want it to do is sort of blend with the texture of the image so it looks like it's really on top of the girl but those black lines help to give a little more definition to the distorted word cloud and you could really see how the text was wrapped around her face without losing the details of her face I suggest you try uh, dissolve, try multiply, try overlay, try soft light until you get the uh, the one that looks just right for you. The other thing you can do is you can slide uh, the slider for the opacity and make the um, make the layer with the letters in it a little bit more transparent. So between those two things, you should be able to get just what you want. So it actually looks like those letters are almost tattooed onto her face and they're wrapped around her. What a, um, what a displacement map actually does because you're using that black and white image is it reads all the lighter tones as if they are near and the darker tones as if they're farther away and it wraps the text around according to the light and shadow of the underlying image which gives it a, a amazing three-dimensional effect. I'm just about done with my picture here. Now that I'm happy with the results I'm going to save it and there's a lot of different projects you could do using uh, displacement maps. You could draw a line drawing of a tattoo and you could 
put it into Photoshop and make it look like it's actually on somebody's body. You could create text and wrap it around somebody's body. You could create a logo and put it on a t-shirt and it'll actually pick up the texture of whatever's underneath it and look like it's really on that person's body. This is the Helpful Art Teacher, Rachel Winnenberg, with another art technology tutorial.